could live if they have to. Hi, this is write. Charlotte Pierce. I'm with uh, the Independent Publishers of New England, and we are starting our indie office hours live streaming on the wonderful internet where we've assembled uh, Matthew Herschler uh, out in uh, Central Mass and uh, Jennifer Graham, an author in from Canada who's now in Austin, Texas, very sensibly. Uh, wintering. <laughs> wintering. <laughs> we have some friends from uh, Google Plus who are who are there at SXSW. So you, you must see a lot of geeks around there in Austin. Oh yes. Uh, yeah. The um, the slogan, the city slogan is keep Austin weird. <laughs> yeah. My husband them. went to school there in high school. Yeah. He went to a boarding school, a physical boarding school. And, um, it was cool then, you know, like oh, in the 70s. That's a great place. It's a great, it's a, it's a university city. It has a campus of 50,000, a university population of 50,000 people. So it is really cool. There's a lot of learning going on and uh, oh. some interesting people floating around. So you just, you plan on doing winters there every year? Or? No, no. Um, we just my husband and I uh, like to explore places on on foot. Well, he likes to explore. Um, I'd rather, if I had my way, I'd rather be in the Car in, on a beach at, in the Caribbean somewhere. But um, he couldn't. He said he couldn't sit on a beach for two months. So Austin, right. it was. Austin, oh, it was. Today we were planning to talk about publishing resources, but I'm not really, you know, wedded. To that, um, I have a few things that I wanted to present that could help people, um, and I think this will be an ongoing theme for indie office hours. So, uh, why don't we just why don't you introduce yourself, Jennifer, and uh, tell us what, how you got into publishing and a little bit about the book that you were talking to me about, okay. and then Matthew can uh, do his little bit. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm uh, Jennifer Graham, as uh, Charlotte introduced me, and I have uh, written a uh, and self-published a memoir called "An Immoral Proposal," and uh, the memoir is about my growing up in South Africa under the apartheid regime, and it has um, it has been a project. That has taken me, oh gosh, um, over a couple of decades, uh, close to 25 years to write, because of uh, the the emotional. You know, when you write a memoir, it is it's very personal and it's very emotional. And so I, uh, it started out as a novel, but uh, then it just um, didn't ring true. And, um, and 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 of course, you know, novel writing is is not as easy as one thinks it's uh, it's going to be. And uh, but then once I wrote the book as a memoir, as a, a, a publisher friend suggested to me, uh, because you know when I presented the novel, it just wasn't it just fell flat. And she said, oh, this needed to be a memoir. Uh, but she said, if you're going to write a memoir. Uh, you firstly you have to have a thick skin and um, because you know you have to be truthful and really expose your soul you know put your soul out there and so um, so yes it's taken almost three decades to wow. write it and I think then some of the best uh, memoirs I've read have been uh, South African themes I mean mm. you know no, because of its the complex uh, history, and uh, but then also the richness of the culture. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so then I uh, I self published uh, last year, last November. I uh, and the reason I didn't want to go with a traditional publisher was because that uh, you know it took me like thirty years to write the book, and uh, so and then you know I was. You're told that it's a long process uh, to go the traditional way, and there were you know, there were other um, other advantages of uh, self-publishing. Um, so so I went through a book publisher in Canada, 
and um, had. You mean a book packager or a? No, oh. they are they 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 um, publish. They manufacture and they publish. Design. The book. Design and the, manufacture. The, the design and manufacture. Yeah. They are purely yeah. design and manufacture. They're not, you know, it's not a package deal. And so that I, I don't sign any contracts. I didn't sign any contracts for them. Um, they called art book, art, art book bindery, they called. And so they, they just produce books and also, you know, the help of the design and, and so forth. And so I, ha I went that way and had, um, I had 500 books, 500 paperbacks published uh, by them, but in retrospect, I, I had 500 published in order to keep the unit cost down, but in retrospect, mm -hmm. I should probably have uh, probably just published enough for my book launch because then subsequent to that, I went with Create Space and you know Amazon.com and Kindle. No, have you been happy with them? With Crazy Space? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, you know, it's been. But, uh, but are they POD? They don't send your books. In other words, you get to hold on to your books and they yes. do POD. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yes. So, Create Space does Amazon and Kindle POD that you want? Or do they just market on Amazon? Just like, am Amazon and Kindle. But then they so market, they market uh, worldwide, then. You know, they. they Market to the United States, um, North America, and Europe. And but if a bookstore Australia. wanted your book, would they, would they uh, be able to order it from Create Space? Um, yes, they, they can. They can order from Cre Create Space, but I think they can also order it from other outlets, from wholesale outlets, because. Um, there's a, a small bookstore uh, where I live locally near Toronto who, um, that ordered um, a few of my books through his wholesaler, he said. So I guess you know, uh, Create Space makes it available to book wholesalers. Yeah. But of course, it's POD. Like uh, Lightning Source is the one I've used, and I always get confused between, you know, like what's how you get your books on Amazon and how you get them on uh, Kindle and so I have to review it every time but um, yes lightning source has Baker and Taylor and Ingram of course and like a lot of the big uh, European distributors as well yes have you compared uh, the uh, the POD version of your book to uh, the one that you had printed as far as quality do you have anything to say about that have you looked at the bookstore version yeah. Yes, uh, the the one that I had uh, printed the paperback that I had printed through the uh, book binders um, is a um, slightly better quality. The uh, the Create Space one's not not too bad, but uh, what would the, you say the differences are? Uh, the quality of uh, the, uh, the 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 paperback one. The paper. The paper. Yeah, is yeah. yeah the the paper is a slightly better quality and also the clarity of the um, of the, the the cover the the front and back cover of, of the pictures. Uh huh. Clarity is a little bit better. Color is better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whereas the uh, gray space one has a kind of greenish hue, whereas the other one has a sort of nice bluish hue. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Colors too. Mm. Charlotte, um, how would you compare that to uh, Lightning Press? Do you have any experience lightning with Lightning Force? Like, yeah, Lightning. You yeah. mean Create Space? Compared to Lightning, yeah. I compared hear, to Create Space. Um, I don't think there's too much difference quality. personally, but I think that I hear as far as print people quality. who advocate one or the other and have yeah. had experiences with bad quality on Lightning Source. I mean, I know Guy Kawasaki who has. The uh, book author, printer, publisher, entrepreneur, APE. Um, he doesn't like lightning source at all. Hi, Kitty. Hi. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It was Pat who's sick. Pat? Pat Gowdy. I thought it was you. No, I just forwarded her, e her email. 
Oh, because Jessica and I both thought it was you. I know. I I'm going to mute you until you get your headphones on, okay? I mean, yeah. I know okay. Dr. Wasaki does. Um, the, and I'm, I'm going to mute Kim because... Uh, put on your, put on some earbuds or headphones, and then I'll unmute you because um, we have we get head uh, feedback if we don't have headphones on. So do that before you join next time. But um, do you have an earbud, Kim? Like this? You don't have. I know. I'm going to mute you until you get your headphones on. Okay. I mean, I know. Okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Okay. Someone's got it playing. Put on some earbuds or headphones, and then I'll unmute you. Oh my um, God! We have we get head uh, feedback if we don't. Someone's know. got the thing playing. So do that before you join next time. But um, uh, sorry about this, folks. You have an earbud, Kim. We need to. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> Okay. When, whenever you raise your hand when you want to talk, and I'll unmute, I'll unmute you. Make sure that the uh, the video is not playing on your computer or on your speakers anywhere. I think somebody has it playing. I hope it's not me. <laughs> uh, okay. Could have been me. Okay. And do your. Um, do your um, lower third when you get a chance. Um, yeah, this is why we like to have. Okay, got it. Kim, you're unmuted now. I think uh, you can unmute yourself if you have, if I have muted you. Um, just put your cursor over the top of the page and. Uh, on a, click the uh, microphone and you should be unmuted. Is everybody all set? Okay. Kim, do you want to say something? Introduce yourself? You're not, you're still muted. Uh, hold on a second. Let me get the... Okay. Can oh, you there you me? go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. I right. introduce yourself and tell us what you do in publishing or writing, and uh, what your favorite re author resources are or resources. I'm Kim McQueen. I'm Vice President of uh, Barnes McQueen Publishing Resources in Burlington, Vermont. We work with self-published authors of just about every stripe, um, fiction, nonfiction, um, memoirs, novels, um, textbooks for use in um, Champlain College uh, classrooms where I also teach. And uh, I'm um, new to um, independent publishers of New England. Um, our business has actually just gotten off the ground in the last couple of months, and I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Excellent. Well, it sounds like you're our you you you're the definition of what our topic is about today. So <laughs> that's why I wanted to join. And Good. after some technical difficulties, here I am. What was it? I I wasn't sure. I finally I circled you with the page. So I don't you know, know all those things kind of have to be live and stuff. Um, Let's I see. don't know. The last linked worked is all I know. Excellent. <laughs> um, Matthew, why don't you give us a little brief rundown and your top favorite uh, resource for for solopreneurship, authorpreneurship. Oh my gosh, uh, I'm still studying Besides that. Besides Tiffany, of course. I am it, there. There it is. <laughs> really, no, really. That's a great start. Uh, I'm writing an instruction book on constitutional democracy based on the first sentence in a dictionary. Founders told us if we read it strictly, it would protect us better than a bill of rights. It turns out to be the case. All the terms go back to Latin. It's very hard, but I'm actually now finally getting through it. I have a uh, galley deadline of uh, spring and a publishing date in September. So general deadlines or, de or hard, fast dates? Uh, I'm going to make it. Good I'm going you. to make it. Good for you. You have been out of circulation, which probably means you've been working really hard on it. <sighs> <laughs> Am I right? Every day. 
Yeah. Every okay. day. Yeah, every day. Well, let's talk. Let's uh, meet Kitty, who's our executive directory. <laughs> Not all day, every day, but every day. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Kitty, you're Hi, our, everyone. You're a you're a you're a walking directory. Yeah, I guess I've been at it since. <laughs> No, you you've got the spelling on your director. Just oh, direct. really? I'm a director. I love it. Yeah. You just oh, open, yes. open your face. <laughs> okay, there we go. And uh, fellow Vermonter for, from uh, with Kim. Yes, yes. Hi, Kitty. Hi, hi, Kim. <laughs> can't wait to meet you. I'll be yeah, up you in Vermont. Yeah, you do. I think this is that though. I think we're meeting right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's our that's our start. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm playing executive director of IPNI, and we still says directory. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you have the most trouble with those lower thirds. Oh my God! Yeah, I know it never <laughs> saves my preset, and it keeps crashing on me. But whatever. <laughs> we, we could have more fun with this. You're being discriminated against. I, I definitely. <laughs> um, yeah. So I've been working on the conference and the catalog. We have a catalog, everybody, and ads are coming in. And uh, we just got all the book awards out, so we'll be able to play with those um, at the conference. You'll find out we've got some incredible books coming in. Yes, Kim sent one in. I sent mine yesterday um, to you. So to me or to Jane? To Jane and you. I sent oh, okay. the, the backup copy to you, but okay. I I pretended to be you sending it to Jane. So. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. So we got the book awards out of the way. I've got stacks of books around here. Some are absolutely fascinating to read. Other ones like children's books. I, I'm going to donate them to our local library. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any kids anymore. They're 36 and 33. Yeah. So what's your favorite uh, resource if you need some help with publishing? What do you like to use? Oh, resources. Well, I've been doing this since. 2001, and I guess one of the resources I've been uh, been interested in is the people on the self-publishing forum. Which one? Um, Steve Carlson, the self-pub forum. That's what it's called. Uh, Steve Carlson is another resource I've been using him for years, and now I design his books. Um, is that the Yahoo one or the self-pub forum, or where is on. it? Just uh, it's like a bulletin board somewhere. It was through. I think it's. Hold on, I'm gonna look it up. Oh. Uh, I think it's. Yahoo is it Google Groups now? Self pub forum. It's Yahoo Groups. Mm -hmm. That's the one. But I've been on them for I guess probably near since, since the beginning. Mm -hmm. and that's how I've gotten to meet a lot of people cool. that way. So well, uh, one of mine it, like is just Google search. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I think I know about publishing by now, um, so I can can I can sort through those. Uh, you know those the return results that they return. Uh, like today, I wanted to know about bleed on a cover, and what uh, whether Lightning Source could help um, could accommodate this like little thin bleed that look at the the designer wanted to put a a thin yellow a red band around the the whole book, front and back, and of course when they trim it. It's it's like thin on down here and thick up here and there's none on the outside. And then the designer didn't put it in the right place, dear. Well, they do I, they, do you know, bleeds Lightning on the on the outside because I use them. Yeah, he didn't put it in the right place. But Lightning Source says you know if you have critical or sensitive graphics that bleed toward the edge, you you have to. Accommodate for that, so you do. There, are, they have you use a template. I always put everything on the yeah, template. Yeah, I've got the template, and I gave and it to the designer, sure. but he didn't use it. So. Well, that's why it has a problem. Yeah. So Kim, can we get your uh, lower third on? My lower third. Yes. No. <laughs> um, well, you go to the Hangout toolbox on the left. Uh huh. Know, it's all hover menus. There's a toolbox. I've got the toolbox, uh huh. Okay, and then click on that, and then go to the uh, little circle with the person in it. You can put in; it'll pop up on the right. You got it. And then you switch it on. You can flip it; it only. 
It only um, flips for you because it's, yeah, you're getting it. It keeps turning itself off. Is one mine, click. One, one click. Is, yeah. Is mine back to front? Is mine flipped upside down? No, it never is for the people viewing. Oh, okay. But you can switch it around if it bugs you, which it does me. I, I can't oh. stand mine. How do you switch it around? It, there's a little arrow up by the on-off button. Oh, okay. Oh, well, you know, I'll just leave it. I don't want to mess something up. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It looks fine. Um, oh, uh, sorry. Can I just ask Kitty, what, what was the resource that you said um, I didn't get? I didn't quite get the resource that you use. The Cell Club Forum? Yes. Hey, Carl, Yahoo Groups. It's a Yahoo group that I've been on probably since 2001 or so. That's where uh, Peter Goodman and uh, Walt Shield and a whole bunch of others, uh, J.C. Simons, hang out. J.C. and I met at the yeah. BEA in 07 and we so, became really good buddies. So what is it actually called? Cell Club. I'll, I'll send you a, I'll post a link on Hold yeah. on, let me get it. Okay. Oh, that, yeah, put great. it on the event page so that our people who are watching can view it too. Create Space also has online resources. And yes. if I can just add that the way one of the things I've been doing that's interesting is doing these online webinars about book marketing and how to be an author. Yes. And, uh, and there's a lot of information in there that helps to sort of you know, they talk about the importance of a web page and getting people to be able to click on the web page and get on your mailing list. And they talk about building an audience before you release the book, but getting people interested in your book and blogging and different things that sort of help to establish a calendar of events, yeah. a timeline. Uh, and and I find that that's why I said so proudly proudly earlier that oh, I've got a. Uh, a date for the galley and I've got a date for the publication so that I can be there four months in advance and maybe get people to review the book yes. so that it it's more official and libraries Good for uh, you, can Matthew. click and buy that's, it. That's great. That's Just trying awesome. to get everything in order and it seems it's very reassuring. But uh, I'm the next time thrilled you do that, a book the, that uh, Tim is here to talk to more. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Next, next, next time you do a book. Oh, sorry. It's such a learning curve, I'm, I was saying, you know, and I made the mistake, you know, I had to, I just uh, published my book through trial and error, and, you know, I didn't do that uh, uh, pre, uh, pre-launch thing, you know, so. I'm, I'm going to ask people if you're typing to mute yourself, uh, because it does kind of encroach yeah. on the, the view, listening. Um, it's not too late, yeah. To, oh, publicize. Yeah. to publicize. Oh, yeah, well, now, now I'm fine because, you know, I have to, well, I just enlisted a publicist, actually, to help me um, promote the book, and um, so, uh, it, and it's, it's quite, uh, it's, a, it's quite a slog, <laughs> uh, the promotion part. All right, well, Kim, um, tell us, since you're, you kind of specialize in this, tell us a little bit about you know what you recommend to authors and small publishers and you know is this about, I, I didn't quite catch if this is all that you do in your um, in your business or I, I sort of come at um, self-publishing from a couple of different angles I work with uh, uh, Champlain publishing uh, Champlain College publishing initiative mm -hmm. and we have um, a lot of very talented students who work with um, on campus and outside clients to bring their books to market. Um, so Champlain College publishing students provide uh, some, edit some editorial support, a whole lot of design and layout expertise, um, a lot of production. Um, we work with students, with our student designers, um, to help them learn how to set up titles for Create Space and Lightning Source mm -hmm. and now Ingram Spark. Um, so, because we are a small college, there is we can only sort of take authors to a certain point. Really, we can take them up to the point where they press the button at Lightning Source and have their book printed. So, I have formed uh, a company around um, sort of the entire rest of that process, and we're getting really good at providing author services um, that the college. Uh, either can't provide because they don't want to get into distribution and marketing or, they, or we don't have the staff. Um, 
one of the ways, I don't want to say that Champlain College Publishing is weak in any areas, but we are working with undergraduate students who tend not to be um, the best editors yet. You know, uh -huh. your best editors are people who have been in the business for years and years and years, like myself and my partner, and like a lot of, um, uh, of our friends, basically. So what we do is the company sort of wraps itself around what Champlain College Publishing is able to offer, and in so doing, we can offer um, just a really full range of everything the self-published author really needs, mm -hmm. from soup to nuts. So and, an, an author that comes can come to you and um, ask for these services, and the the students will perform them. Is that what? Do I get that right? That's right. And because they are undergraduate students, they um, they do charge. Um, we charge a, a, an hourly rate for their time, but of course, it's uh, far less than. Um, you know, you would pay a professional uh, editor or designer. Great. Um, where that, you know, where that sort of gets really, really cool is in, certainly in layout, because good graphic designers can make a nice living for themselves. Uh, so we can work with these designers to get them um, compensated, but yet the, the author is getting professional level help at you know, kind of a fraction of the cost. Mm -hmm. What what we're, really gets fun is when we get to do websites for people, right? And websites are still super expensive <laughs> for an author to get into, um, but we can offer you know all of the Champlain College Publishing Initiative um, services are offered um, at one uh, sort of flat rate, and then my company can offer whatever it is for a specific project that uh, Champlain College uh, students can't quite offer for a slightly higher hourly rate. So what is, like, just for an author or a single book, what would the publishing, what would the ballpark be for a website for an author? For a website? Yeah. It, you know, that's all, that's like asking what kind of car you want, all right, you know, yeah. <laughs> or WordPress. how much you want to spend on a car. Do you want a Toyota or do you want a Lamborghini? WordPress. And, hmm? WordPress. WordPress. So typically what we do for authors who maybe don't have a big web presence yet is um, a very, very simple one-page WordPress website <clears throat> that takes uh, a student about eight hours max mm -hmm. to set up. Um, and that includes, you know, so the, the author needs to go and buy their um, domain name and um, make it point to this new website, but then, you know, their work is kind of done. So it, the, the author would be then supplying all the text and things like that for the, for the, the site, the content? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And it, well, we also work with great marketing students who oh. are getting better and better all the time wow. at preparing that kind of text for clients. Cool. So it's really you're we're really able to meet every author exactly where they are. You know, if you've already had some thoughts about what you want your website to say, we work we can work with you and sort of beef that up if that's what you need. I like this whole thing because it seems like you can get a discount on those services. Mm -hmm. You can help the student learn. Mm -hmm. You can probably learn some yourself while you're, you know. I learn something with, with every client on yeah. every job. I learn stuff. Yeah, I think that's what um, when I working with the Piragachi Handbook, which just came out. <laughs> Congratulations! Like, it's, it's not quite printed yet, but um, it's public domain, so it's it was it's pub printed on pub or uh, published on public domain day every year, which is January first. But um, mm -hmm. you know, I I've realized working on that with a group of people, you know, it's like. It's so fun um, to learn things, and people, the people on our project are just so generous. You know, they don't. You can jump in there with a really stupid question; it doesn't matter. It's um, not right. stupid if you don't know the answer. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you know, and but and then everybody has a unique set of experiences that contribute. You know, so you know, if I'm working with a student, they they might be interested in my magazine publishing experience and. Mm -hmm. You know, they might know some 
you know, cutting edge technology that I don't have a clue about. So. That happens all the time. I mean, that I bet. you know, yeah, that happens all the time. They know they they use technology differently. They know a lot more about different technologies, yeah. and what they know about tends to really bring a lot to bear on marketing. You know, how are people getting their information about what they read? My my 20-year-old students know a lot more about that than um, sometimes than I do. <laughs> and they faster. <laughs> they faster. And they absolutely. They faster. They don't well, have time to answer my emails. So. My, my yeah. kids are 19 and 15, 14, and uh, I was, when I was nursing them, I was, you know, like, on my computer, so I'm <laughs> absorbing all this yeah. you know, knowledge. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm really well, looking forward to um, the conference actually in April because we're coming down there with a van load of students who cannot wait. That's to, what I was wondering. To present. Um, yeah. Oh, I can't yeah. wait for it either. Do you realize it's a month from today? No, don't say no. that. No. <laughs> yes, it is. No, no, no. <laughs> and today is Mardi Gras. Is yes, I've heard that's right. Yeah. That's with the that's Google Plus has all these Mardi Gras things. Fat Tuesday. Yeah. I thought that was February, but what do I know? I don't know. I thought it was too. So I'm going to mute myself for a second and try to uh, get my name underneath here. Google okay. is really fighting me today. But you guys um, talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to try so to figure it out. So speaking of that, and while you're listening, uh, uh, Kim, we can talk a little bit about the conference. Um, oh, I I would awesome. like to see if we can do some um, streaming. We have a couple tools that I've uh, experimented with the Pyragogy group and and with IPNI also. But I'm hoping we can do some streaming. And we were wondering if any uh, of the students would be interested in monitoring cameras in the breakout rooms. So um, we can definitely talk about that. Okay. Yeah. Um, we'd, we'd, I'd love to figure out like how many you need and what you mm -hmm. need them to do, but they're all about it. They can't wait. Yeah, you, me, and Kitty can get together and do that. Um, there okay. are three going on at once, mm -hmm. and so there will be three different events going on at one time. So we need three setups, okay. and then it's three times in the morning and three in the afternoon. So at any given time, okay. there's three. Okay. So that means that I would be able to catch the things I missed afterwards. Is that right? If they yeah, were that filmed? would be the yeah. idea. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that Beautiful. cool? Ooh, cool. Yeah. We'll have some, uh, tough choices. You know, that all looks good. <laughs> and we have to decide what you know whether we can stream for people who can't make it. You know where to when to well, kind of figure that out. We should so. put it up on the uh, IPNI website, and for people mm -hmm. who didn't come to the conference, who um, didn't make it. The ones yeah. who pay for the conference ought to have free access to them, and the ones who yeah. didn't pay for the conference yeah, yeah, yeah. ought to be charged a nominal fee of some I sort. I think that uh, <laughs> I think that you know, coming in person is always the best because you get the interaction and you know yeah. when things occur to you. Oh, and, it's awesome. Um, but streaming would be such a great service because I know people are having conflicts and they always. You know, but uh, do you want to tell us a little more about the conference, Kitty? Uh, yeah, in fact, we have uh, Kate Sullivan is going to be joining us doing a thing on digital ebooks and the state of digital publishing. Dan couldn't make it this year. Oh. Sadly, his wife is having a birthday. Um, she's French, and they're going to Paris to celebrate. So I told him that he was an absolute wretch, but to get his ass out there. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would you pick, Paris? You know, I've been there several times. Well, My let's stream here. him from. Paris. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no, he's going to do another project for me over there, hunt down some old relatives. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Um, the conference, it's its really amazing. We have so many fantastic presenters on it this time. Uh, we're doing sessions rather than panels, uh, literally workshops of 50 minutes each. That uh, Well, Kim's presenting one of them. Plus, all the students are doing them. That's a whole channel on the the, the third row there on the on the program. Is uh, her students? Can we her get students. that program up? Is it on the website? I'll uh, yeah, it's on the website. I'll it's look it while you're talking. I'll, I'll screen share it. Go ahead. Yeah, and there's also the it's also up as a web. I don't have Kim. Uh, I don't have Kate 
on the the PDF. It's not on the PDF, but anyway, it's going to be. She's going to be one of the last ones because that's where and we have room. So but Kim, I also mean? need some more information about the students who are coming. I'd love to put them into the uh, into the brochure and get it out right. there. Yeah, M Mike Garris, um, Martin, and uh, there yeah. were a couple others on there yeah. as well that we don't have anything on. We don't have okay. any. Uh, and I believe you. We don't have any um, bios or anything to put in there. So it'd be nice to be able to do that. You and me need to talk. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about Sonia Hakala. Sonia, uh, she's uh, God. I've known Sonia forever. Um, we were in the League of Vermont Writers together, and we both ended up starting out doing uh, self-publishing, if you will, small presses. We were, in fact, going to do it together, and then we decided that the distance between us was too great. She was down in near White River Junction, and I'm in Waitsfield. And I had actually started out, my little company is RSB Press, standing for Rejection Slip Blues, because one of my friends, Ron Powers, got a manuscript he'd written, rejected by the family the bio was written about. They didn't like it, so we thought, thought okay, really let's just publish it ourselves. Broads. What? I thought it was really savvy broads. Well, yeah, it was when I was with Sonia and, and uh, Maury Harrington, who did the artwork on the cover, as her paintings on the cover of my book, The Savvy Woman's Guide to Owning a Home. The three of us were contemplating doing this as a business together, and I was sitting on the toilet, and I thought, you know, we're a bunch of really savvy broads. <laughs> RSB. So it became really savvy broads. Excellent. And that's when I uh, we got together... Well, it was around 2000, I guess. And I put the book out in 2001. And I'd been working for Random House. I'd done six books for Random House, and that's how I learned to do a lot of typesetting on interiors of books. And I worked at a computer store, so I had all that access to all the programs and everything I needed at the time. And uh, then I did a writer's conference in 1990 for eight years. And this conference is based on that one, which was very successful. We had over 100 people come. And it became the talk of New York. All the editors and agents were calling me wanting to come up because cool. I had landed three of the top agents in New York to come up, and we all became really good buddies. Bobby Siegel, Carol Abel, and... Um, and Sonia was with you on that conference? Uh, she came. She didn't do any workshops on yeah. it. But in 2001 is when we kind of what are separate ways doing small presses. So it looks and like there's going to be a lot of resources in this. Oh, there's I mean, a ton of it. We've got to have this streamed for people. I mean, this is going to be so cool. Yeah. Uh, you see, what about Tim? Tom Hall? Tell me about Tom. I don't know him that well. Uh, he, he's one of yours, isn't he? Yeah. No, he's I, a I saw him at, uh, he gives a wonderful um, presentation on f the financial aspects of of, biz of publishing business and he has a, a great book which the name escapes me right now but um, he he really lets you know how uh, how to run the business part of it wonderful accessible guy too mm -hmm. Tim Brooks I bet Kim knows him Oh, not in the least. <laughs> <laughs> Kim, I uh, muted you because of the something. Uh, just, typing, uh, sorry. Typing. Okay. I was typing. Sorry. <laughs> we should have the little typing, uh, you know, the little uh, <laughs> hook that comes and gets you and yeah. So Tim is my boss. Off the stage. So, <laughs> so this is You're all Friday, right? Things to use. <laughs> and. Uh, Kitty, when do we uh, get to play pool? Friday night after. Friday wine night and after the wine and cheese, when you had a little bit too much, and it's a lot of fun. Excellent. And there's also a couple of dartboards there, and there's also <laughs> swimming pool. Dartboards could be dangerous. Well, they're um, away from the pool. You, if you'd have to turn around and start throwing right. at the pool people, so then you hit the bar, South, and I wouldn't be hoping. Southbridge, Mass, which is like the smack in the middle of the lower middle of the state, right? Right, away from everybody and everything except Sturbridge Village. But it's we. Why do we put it there in New England, Kitty? You'd have to ask toward uh, Susie Gears that. It's well, not my I, purview. One reason is is that it is rather central to a lot of places where our members come from in New England. Um, I know northern people in northern Vermont don't feel that way, but <laughs> or New Hampshire. It beats Boston. Yeah. It beats Boston, and that's where I am. So mm -hmm. I never found it. I didn't find it too hard to get there last year. No, and but don't forget, we about a half of our population is north of Massachusetts. We've got so the uh, Vermont way Boston. out of the way. So yeah, 
Um, but then we move into Saturday. We've got a keynote address uh, with Eric Enga, who is a Massachusetts person. But uh, whoa! Oh, sorry. That's my. That's my. Uh, that's the heating. That's the heating thing. Was oh, okay. <laughs> where where I'm staying. Eric Suddenly, is, my typing looks sounds really good. Yeah, exactly. Wait till <laughs> wait till Kitty's dog starts snoring. No, she's it is hilarious. The room, actually. It sounds like something from 2001: A Space Odyssey or something. <laughs> no, she's going to the other room. She, she's in. She's actually into catnip. I see. She ate Getting the catnip your dog ball. high now, huh? Yeah, she ate the catnip ball. But look at all this stuff on Saturday. Look at this. Charlotte Pierce. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> Jessica will do editing. Uh, social media marketing is my kind of like I I gravitate toward that. I don't have formal training, but who? What good is formal training anyway when things are moving so fast? But um, and the website in the stream. What does that mean actually? Um. Well, I'll tell you, I'm not altogether sure, but I can tell you that those students are amazing, especially Jeremy Almendinger. Um, and I, I didn't, so Tim put that all together, and I actually haven't even um, seen it before now, but that, <laughs> that's yeah. what we'll be rolling out, and those students are amazing. Let's see, the author publisher website, it went away. It should never be static, it should be interactive. It should be part of a comprehensive interactive digital strategy, but that, what does that actually mean? So this is really nice. It's a, they're going to look at a couple of different websites in, uh, like it says, theory and practice, and discuss and um, you know talk about uh, how they work and how well they work. And you know, people, uh, certainly authors in the audience, will get a chance to see a couple of case studies of how people are doing their websites and get a feel for what's available. So the stream, by the stream they mean in your publishing process or your publishing. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 And if right below that is Martin Simpson, who is um, creative director for um, Champlain College Publishing and an absolutely incredibly talented um, young person, who is really sort of took it upon himself this year to figure out how to work with not just WordPress but really super souped up WordPress so that you know you can make a website that is at the same time beautifully designed but also does all kind of interactive stuff mm -hmm. um, it's not uh, like it says here it's not a digital billboard it is um, an interactive experience mm -hmm. so that is going to be amazing and I hope we um, tape it and stream it so that I can see his his presentation because I'm going up against him, which I that's kind of scary. Well, you'll have to <laughs> go see Martin. <laughs> sounds like you know a little bit about his stuff, so you He's, might have to review the recording. This guy is a sophomore, and I'll tell you what: when he graduates, New York is going to grab him up. Whoa! I, well, I mean, I, I've never worked with a more talented designer of any age. Also, Kim, we should let you know that uh, IPNI is, we had a very successful experience with our intern last summer, and we have a paid internship that we we offer in the summer. We'd like to do it again. So So where would that be based? Where is actually IPNI Well, actually it was based? based out of the Boston area. The intern went up to Newburyport to a publisher up there, and... Oh. Also, uh, to uh, met with several other members, and members kind of bid or uh, negotiate time from the publish from the intern. And I I took two or three weeks, um, we, and so we share the cost. And Dan okay. Waltham, Dan did uh, some mm -hmm. work with her. So um, who would I just uh, send an interested student to you or someone else at IPNI? You can send it to me or Kitty or Jessica. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. So then we have, uh, what, what are you talking about here? Uh, it sounds like another 
plus time when you need to take a note notepad. Oh, for my talk? Yeah. The new triad, which is this? Is this what you so, suggested? Yeah. So this is <laughs> yes. Um, and then Tim was uh, sort of going back and forth with I think Kitty um, or you. I'm not sure. And uh, and ended up with this list of uh, workshops, which look fantastic. I'm just uh, really sort of wrapping my mind around them for the for the first time right now. But uh, I think what ended up happening was we had a meeting a couple of weeks ago where I was um, describing to the students how my uh, how I work um, uh, in relation how my company works in relation to how um, what we call CCPI works and I was talking about how what I do in the publishing process really is completely dependent on what the client needs some clients just want to do a very personal book publishing project that they don't care ever, you know, if anybody outside their family ever sees it. And I'm working with a first-time memoirist who who um, wants her available her book available on Amazon mm -hmm. and in every bookstore in the country. So I, I think I was answering a question, to be honest with you, um, from a student who asked sort of how I do my job to work with these clients, and I was. I sort of launched in a into a soliloquy about how everyone is different, and Tim was in the room, and he pointed at me, and he said, "That's what you're talking about." It, and I went, "Okay." <laughs> I can so hear him really saying organic. that. Well, really just uh, Jennifer has uh, your memoirist. Um, she's self-publishing mem self-published memoir. Yeah, that memoir sounds absolutely amazing. No, well, thank you. I've had some really good uh, response. Um, uh, uh, toward it so far, um, and um, the hard part for me now as a self-publisher is to um, promote it. And you know, especially um, you know, I have uh, I I am picking some people up on Twitter, um, uh, but the Facebook page uh, I find that very really hard. It seems to me that uh, you know, in order to drive traffic to that page, um, I have to pay for the advertising, I have to, you know, pay for boosting the page, and uh, mm -hmm. I don't know, is there a way that you can boost your... Get around book? it? Yeah, without having to pay. Does your book itself have a web page? Yeah, I have a website. I have a website. The, yeah. um, uh, and, 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 and I'm what loved. I meant to ask you just now was, does your book have its own Facebook page? Is actually what I meant to ask you. Yes. Because okay, so yes, I I have never paid for Facebook advertising. Have any of you? I have oh. just to test it. Um, and yeah. I, uh, this is Charlotte. Um, oh, yeah. To test it out, I I do uh, find some results from my concert series that I produce for our church, oh. but because it's targeted locally. Uh, but you know, I think it's it's not the best thing for authors. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I think kind of uh, I think Google Plus is much much more productive, yes. but it's not yes. an easy fix. It's it's something you have to build a relationship uh, yeah. with your readers, and so it, it takes time, does it? Yeah, it takes yeah. time. It takes time. Yeah, and yeah. it takes just you know stay the course and yeah. keep. I have a science fiction author who, a friend who, um, every day she publishes the science fiction question of the day. So, you know, some ethical yeah. or moral mm -hmm. question about science fiction and futuristic things. Yeah. And she, mm -hmm. she in, incorporates that into her writing, yeah. and then she reports back uh, to the yes. to her followers that, you know, what she's using it in and how it's working out, and they they contribute more feedback. Yes, I really liked the way she uses Google Plus. Yeah. So just you know, even if you're if you're a nonfiction author, it's it's more direct because you have a niche to or you have a beat that you you can sure. be an expert on. Yes. As a novelist, you kind of have to or a I mean, memoir is is also easier I think than just pure fiction. 
but yeah. don't you that, think him? A... Memoir is easier in what way? Oh, in to establish a, an author platform. Because you well, have... yeah, the, the, it's like the, the route is shorter. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, because exactly. you could you can essentially turn yourself into a blogger even if you don't really think of yourself as a blogger and you're not trying to update a, a blog every day. Mm -hmm. But yes. if you use your Facebook page as or your Twitter feed as a way to send short bursts of information that propel your book forward, yes. um, then yeah, it's a it's it's um it's a nice uh, uh it's a nice roadmap to use to build readership. Um, oh, and um, my partner Cindy says you need to check out Elizabeth Gilbert's Facebook page. She does a brilliant job of this. Okay, I, I've got um, I've got uh, Jennifer's. Um, this is her book. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Amazon.com. Yes. It, wow. It's setting. Well, uh, you you guys weren't um, on when I did the introduction, uh, but it's set in uh, South Africa. Um, it's about my growing up under the apartheid um, regime, and um, uh, culminating in a clandestine, um, illegal relationship with my then boyfriend, who's now my husband of uh, coming up 38 years. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And he's a, a European, South African? Yeah, yes, yes. Wow, so um, this goes back into your childhood. and Yes, and, um, and as I explained at the beginning, um, I started the book out as a novel. This was, oh, about 25 years ago because um, I felt it was safer that way because you know a memoir uh, is a very personal thing, and uh, and then also you run into the you run into the um, the problem of of stepping on other people's toes and you know uh, the family secrets and those kind of things. So I thought I'd write it as a novel, but then it just didn't. It just fell flat. Mm -hmm. And then a publisher friend of mine said. That um, I needed to, it needed to be a memoir, and I said, "Well, oh, I thought that memoir was just for you know famous people." And uh, she said, "No, not at all." And then once I started, what, once I started writing it as a memoir, it just flowed, and um, and I was able to complete it then. And this is your book, uh, your book site, right? Uh, yeah, although I've changed from WordPress to is that is that Blogspot or WordPress? This is WordPress. Yeah, well, I changed to Blogspot. I was having too much trouble with WordPress. So. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I'm on Blogspot now. Is that recent or? Yes. Oh okay. Oh, it's immoral proposal at Blogspot. Yes. Thanks, so, Charlotte. What's that? Thanks for doing this. It's nice to see this stuff that we're talking yes, about. Yes, you're welcome. Yeah, and yeah I, thank I, you. I like to, you know, I mean, thank we're you. we're all gorgeous pe people, but talking <laughs> heads after a while. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I can't find it. Immoralproposal.blogspot.com. Is that the right address, Jennifer? Uh, oh. Blogger. I, yes, I think. Oh gosh, what and is my immoral proposal. And and immoral proposal. Oh, okay. And I don't want to get any pornographic sites here. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, I do that yeah. once. Oh, I look, um, you know, let me just see. Uh, I for, I forget what my um. Let me just see what That's my. That's all right. We can. Blog is called. If you if you if you get it up, you can do a screen share. Um, yeah. But and then we have uh, getting back to the resources and the conference. I mean, this isn't just a, a a show about our promoting our conference. We're we're talking through some of the the primary topics that people need help with, and that's what we base the conference on too. Um, but uh, yeah, Jenny's going to do the web uh, the author uh, WordPress website. So if you want to, if we're streaming, Jennifer, you could. Tune in on that. Um, sure. Uh, I think WordPress 
I understand what you mean about the yeah. difficulties. Um, they, they've shut my account down a couple of times and I just find the support uh, not very helpful at all. So I, I went back to Blogspot. Yeah. I think there's a little kind of a techie open source type mentality. that. Mm. But uh, I'm, I'm actually working through it with, uh, with another editor who is a member of IPNI, um, Tanya Gold, and she's kind of coaching me on it, so that's helpful. Mm. Um, metadata, that's more about what Eric will be talking about in the morning. Um, and who's Angela Bowl, Kitty? Oh, She's the executive director of uh, Independent Book Publishers Association. Oh, that's right, right. Yeah, cool. and she was yeah. the head of the she was the head of uh, the the basic book industry, whatever it is, standards association. She was the head of it for the last several years until she took on the executive director role of IPPA. Now is Flory? Uh, Flory is uh, retired, and oh, Angela really? took over. Yeah, that was last year um, okay. at the conference in April. They introduced Angela. Oh, cool! So she's um, she's pretty exciting. She's a neat gal. I like her. So Martin Simpson is doing back to back on. Uh, well, that's if he yeah. needs it. I never got an answer from Tim whether he needs two hours or not. You never oh. who got a what? Uh, Tim, I, I haven't heard from Tim in a long time, and I kept asking him for bios and more information about this, and I never got it. Ah, uh, that's so we, the disconnect. He, this may be a two-hour. I'm, I'm your Tim. I'm your Tim. It'll come from me. <laughs> okay. I would assume that so you two, and hours really need would, to talk. two hours would. Two hours. Not that far away from me. No, well, I've got to go up to Burlington this week. Any chance we can meet? Uh, come on. Come on up. Well, okay. two hours. Up, we'll, We'll have you for coffee. Two hours doesn't seem too mm -hmm. much for that topic. It's not two hours. Is it your Waitsfield, Waitsfield to uh, Burlington is like no, an hour, right? I have to do my Costco round, get my husband's prescription, and no, I go I'm visit my dad about, in Essex. No, I'm no. talking about Martin's. He's right, back, but back here. Kim and I need to meet because yeah. we got to straighten all this stuff out, yeah. too. Yeah. Um, anyway, so. let's move on. Um, See you in email, Kim. Okay. So the fabulous bu bu buffet lunch, the bountiful lunch. Yep, yep, yep. And then um, we have the copyright. Um, Chris Keneally, who's with the Copyright Clearance Center, based in Massachusetts. And uh, Jenny Hudson, who's one of our board members, is talking about crowdfunding. That's one of her new uh, directions in her business. She also does websites too, which is why she's doing the one earlier. Right. And Margot Mayer, uh, doing trailers, videos. She spent 40 years doing commercials, advertising, um, and she produces a lot of. She's produced this stuff for what 40 years or something. Mm -hmm. And she's now married to Archer Mayer, who's coming to the conference, by the way. So we can Good. grab he him spoke, for something. Uh, he was a keynote speaker last year. Yes. Well, we can throw him in anywhere he fits. He was so funny. He's hilarious. I've known Archer for a long time. He used to do workshops at my conference, the writers conference up in Burlington. But he went and took his backlist and self-published it. And he's a very successful novelist. And, and we're actually working on a poetry book of a cop up in Burlington. A really neat gal, Barbara um, Bonnie Beck. And I've been designing the book with them. Cool. Yeah. Uh, poetry. <laughs> nice. Yeah, awesome. it's poetry about being a cop. It's uh, it's really gritty stuff. Here's some more familiar names: Lindsay Parker, longtime member of IFNI and a member of the Boston Metro Boston branch group. Um, and Judith Rosen, who works for Publishers Weekly. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a really good session because you cannot ignore traditional methods even though social media is attractive. Uh, Which would be a good one for you, Jennifer. What, what the traditional? Oh, oh you mean yeah. the, yeah, the whole PR social media? Getting, yes. And also yes. they're doing, apparently P, um, PW is doing a thing with uh, books that are not traditionally marketed so that you don't mm -hmm. start the six months in advance if you're just doing it all of a sudden, oops, there it is. Mm. My, my, most of my clients are, oops, there it is. I can't yeah, yes. them. You got this one gal who should have started and we could have started, just kept hemming and hawing and didn't do it. So yes. now she's fighting the, the whole thing. 
Yes. And so it's a little learning curve. It is. Mm. And you just kind of keep pressing mm. on and adding elements well, that make sense. And it, yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, Tom Campbell is a board member now. He's a. Is he a? Is he an owner of? King Printing, or is he? I have no idea. Uh, he, but Callie Gallagher is the vice president of acquisitions at um, Ingram Lightning Source. Mm -hmm. Cool. So and, uh, we have the two of them talking about POD and traditional printing and publishing and all that kind of stuff. Right. And it's one, our the Pyragogy book we have. Um, we're going to do eBooks and print books, and then um, we're thinking about doing a really nice hardcover edition. So I was going to talk to Tom about that. You know, just kind of like a keepsake edition. Um, and charge like 50 bucks for it or something, you know, because we Oh, the book and the movie. Now I put Mike Garris after Margo, because Margo, what Margo's doing is analyzing trailers, what works and what doesn't. And then Mike is going to be showing you how to do them. Cool. Presumably, Kim. And this is just this is talking about trailers, not making a movie out of a book. Right. Yeah. This is just the trailers. Trailers. Which my brother does as well, but he's over in Seattle, and I don't think we can get him to come. He was it's taking classes. Too nice over there. Yeah, uh, they're having summer. I know. Brian Judd is a familiar name too. Now, what does selling outside the stores mean? That's On a the marketing. Sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, Alan, that's how they sold chicken soup. Yeah. Uh, actually, that's selling in bulk to companies. Mm -hmm. Like uh, associations. I right. recognize Brian Judd from Create Space. I wanted to say, uh, and he teaches all these programs about sell your books in the airport oh. bookstores. Yeah. Put your books into this and that. He has a list of a thousand. Places besides stores, you can put your book. I didn't mean to, but yeah, I, I'm. No, that's okay. I'm you're breaking these, up a little these bit. These are the main guy on wow. Create Space. You're he's, breaking he's up the a little main bit. Guy on Create Space. Matthew. I am. Your audio is breaking. Up. I can't explain it. Everybody's okay. audio is breaking up for me. And then uh, Kate will be after Mike. In that slot after Mike. Oh, oh, in here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So Kate. Uh, Sullivan from Candlemark and Gleam. She will be doing on the ebooks on it's digital publishing all together. Yeah. Um, on ebook formatting or strategies on for publishing digi digitally. Yeah. I have her. Let's see if I can pull it up and read it to you. We should probably wrap up pretty soon, but um, we've covered a lot of ground here. Mm -hmm. um, awesome. And awesome. I think okay. uh, one thing that I wanted to mention was some uh, was the communities in Google Plus, and I don't know why my video has gone out, um, but that there are a number of author communities. Um, Publishing, digital publishing. There's one for book cover design. Uh, some of them are better than others, but you can uh, you can kind of investigate them. And there, are, if you're looking to consolidate some of your your uh, research and uh, questions, uh, there are people who are just more than willing to help you in a lot of communities. I found um, the Ape community Thank you. Uh, really helpful. Uh, my students have too. Yeah, yeah, they are just completely uh, generous with their their. Uh, can anybody see my video? I I can't. Yeah. Oh, I can see a video. I don't know yeah. why the logo kept flashing and throbbing. Anyway, does anyone have a final shout out for uh, something they want to mention or to get the people aware of? Um, Kitty, come see us in Burlington. Yeah, I'll be up later this week. Okay. Psyched for you. the conference. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, me too. And Psyched for the conference. Looks great. 
Thank you for joining us, Jennifer. Yeah. And, and, and if well, thank, thank, thank you. Yeah. Well, well thank if, you. It's been if there's a anything I can do to help make sure everything gets online, sorry. Okay, you are. If there's anything I can do to help still. make sure things get online, uh, let me try this. If there's anything I can do to make sure things get online, was that clear? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank then, uh, you. Then I'd be yeah, because it would. I don't want to miss anything either. You know, like they all look great. It'd be great to see every program. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. We'll call on you, and then we, Kim and I and Kitty will talk about students. Um, and then Jennifer, you are you are going to finish up. <laughs> Sorry. No, I was just going to say thank you so much. Um, it's it's been great meeting you on Google Plus. I think we met on Google Plus, and uh, thank you for inviting me. And uh, it's been it's been real fun. Thanks. I I've learned such a lot. Yeah. Well, if we stream, we will definitely uh, keep you informed. And uh, thank you. Yes. You well, because yeah, we we have. Uh, I'm a member of the. Uh, writers community of Durham region uh, near Toronto and so of course we have our own Ontario writers conference just you know so uh, if I if I learn anything there you know we can cross pollinate and yeah, share yeah I mean, ideas. One, writers groups was one thing we didn't really talk in, in length at length about but yes. I know yeah, we have a great, worth, worth a great so writers whole, group. I've got a re we've got a really good established writers uh, support group. You know, you get support groups and you get support groups, but ours are really very well established, and we've got some talented, uh, uh, well-known writers and workshops, and um, uh, just a great support, and it's great to belong to. Excellent. That. I mean, that mm -hmm. sounds like a whole um, topic for a Face the Book uh, TV show. You know, writers groups or. <laughs> Or indie office hours, but but sure. I think I hear a lot about writers groups and um, mm. you know their importance in writing development. Oh, absolutely! Yes. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, and thank we you. will see you again um, next Tuesday at twelve. We look forward to every week. This is just a whole lot of fun. We have a great chemistry going, and I think you know if some of the same panelists want to come back, we can talk about our next topic be thinking about something that we can have as a theme, but we're not above drifting away from the topic, too. <laughs> um, but thank you, everyone, and thank we'll you. see you on thank the you. other side of the weekend. All right. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.